Arthur is a large red tank engine. He runs the Normby branch line which runs from Balahu through fishing villages and ends in Normby. But Arthur was the only engine who ran the line, and sometimes he was overloaded with work, and other engines had to come and help. Arthur's line also continued to Vickerstown, where he would meet Henry with fish and other goods for him to take to Nafford and the mainland. One evening, Arthur arrived with his train. Hello Henry. Lovely evening, isn't it? It is indeed, replied Henry. I remember back on my old railway, the night sky was always so clear above my shed. Me and my brothers could go on for hours talking about the stars. Arthur smiled. You worked on the LMS, right? Yes, on one of the branch lines in the Midlands region. I missed an engine from the LMS a long time ago, back before my rebuild. Really? Did you know his name? I can't quite remember. Then, Diesel lurked into the station. He had overheard their conversation and saw the chance for mischief. You know what, Arthur? Oil Diesel. I heard that the LMS lines are closed. All of the steam engines were deemed useless, and all have been scrapped. That's enough, Diesel. I've come to learn that your statements are always false, so move on. That's too bad, because some passengers told me the news. It was about time you steam engines were rid of. Diesel slyly left. Arthur was silent. Cheer up, Arthur, smiled Henry. I have heard they've closed lines further north, but I'm sure it wasn't your old line. Have a good evening. Arthur gave him a smile, but as Henry left, Arthur looked worried. I hope they're all safe. Next morning, Arthur was getting ready for the day. A workman walked up. Arthur, there is a goods train waiting for you at Craven's Gate. You are to take it to the mainland. Yes, sir, said Arthur. Arthur arrived at the yard. He left his train and began his journey home. As he was about to exit the yard, he saw what looked like an engine sitting in a siding. Arthur stopped. Uh, hello? Huh? Who, who said that? Who is it? The engine stuttered. Arthur gasped. Kyle? Is that you? Arthur rolled forward to see a black tank engine who shed Arthur's class. Arthur? Kyle said happily. Kyle! What are you doing here? Kyle looked at his buffers. The branch line closed. They couldn't afford to keep us, so most of us got sent for... scrap. Arthur paused. I I'll take you with me, to my railway. We could find a place for you. Arthur, you, you don't have to do this for me. This could risk both of us. Nonsense. I'm going to save you. Arthur's crew worked fast, and soon he was coupled up to Kyle. They set off. The sun was setting when they arrived at the works. Arthur shunted Kyle into a siding. Thank you so much, Arthur. Anything to save a brother. I'll go tell Sir Topham Hatt, then we can get you fixed up. But... But what if he doesn't want me? Kyle said sadly. W what if he sends me for scrap? Watch this I hear about scrap. Arthur and Kyle looked to see the fat controller standing in front of them. You're very lucky, Arthur, said the fat controller. That we need another engine for good work. Sorry, sir. 
Kyle here is my brother, and his railway was closed down not that long ago. Not so worry, Arthur. We'll get Kyle ready for service in a few days. You, you, you mean it, sir? Of course. All engines deserve second chances. Kyle beamed. Thank you so much, sir. It's my pleasure, Kyle. The mainline engines will be happy to have you help them. But, sir, could Kyle help me on my branch line? No, Arthur. You're doing fine on your line. But the main line needs another engine to help. Arthur was very happy for his brother, but he was also a little disappointed. Soon enough, Kyle was in working order and helped with goods trains on the main line. A few certain engines were impressed with him. That's another story.